Welcome back to the channel, folks. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday. It is raining cats and dogs here in Nova Scotia, so it's a good day for video games. And we're going to play two. We're going to play Minecraft and Satisfactory. We're going to play Minecraft first and then move to Satisfactory later on. Blast Jordan, thanks ever so much for the tier one sub. That's six months. That's the Air Keystone badge. Amazing. Uh, that is coming in from Cosmic Dancer as a gift sub. But nonetheless, you get to rock the Air Keystone badge. Oh, Doctor, also playing some Minecraft. Finally having some free time to hang out. Good stuff. Good to see you. Cosmic, good to see you as well. And we have Elder Shots as well. Welcome back. Hope you're all having a good weekend so far. So on, I guess it was yesterday, I was going to say Thursday. I'm just so used to Minecraft being on Thursdays. Uh, we were doing this. This is the marsh, or what will be the marsh, out in front of the main, main wall. And the last thing that we were messing around with was the way that this drains into the river. Thinking about having it drain in two spots, maybe even three be cool and i think if we do this i think this the whole thing has to be rock i think this all of this is going to be changed into actual stone so we're going to do that first and i'm going to mess around with some uh with some different textures i think we're going to put some tough in here as well a lot of this is going to go away a lot of this detail work that I did along the base of the wall. Um, not all of it, but some of it. Probably mostly this. This stuff is probably going to stay. Uh, the other thing that I'm concerned about, and I want to make sure that we do before we fill in the marsh, and that is I want to make this kind of stuff look a little bit more like it's manually piled up. Like, because it was soft ground here, but there is some bedrock, I feel like... Not bedrock in Minecraft, but like bedrock in terms of like our make-believe world. Uh, I feel like we should make this look like it's not sitting on grass, but sitting on stone. So we're probably going to remove a lot of the grass here. And it's going to be more cobble and mossy cobble. There'll be some greenery, but it's going to be plants growing up over it and stuff. And I think I'm pretty happy with this section here, the shape of this. There might be a couple things I want to change. Yeah, I feel like this could be Maybe pushed out a bit. And I guess some of that is going to have to deal with what we do with all of this. So let's take a look and see how big I want to make this. Yeah, I think we can probably scooch this along. It's a little bit better. A little bit more of a natural shape to it. Nope, missed something here. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then maybe along here we could add something else. Let's say maybe right there. And 
and we'll keep this really small. I think that could look cool. We'll mess around with the actual direction of it and stuff later. Cosmic Dancer, thank you for being awesome. And Cheese Cat, not to be confused with Gouda Dog. Welcome in. What kind of cheese are you, Cat? Blue cheese cat. <laughs> yeah, I think breaking this section down into something more interesting is going to be cool. Hey, there's sweet Sandy. How's it going? Yeah, I think this will look more interesting in the end. Uh, that's probably going to come up there. I guess that's big enough. I mean, really, this whole thing is going to have to be stone, so I'm going to have to change the shape of it. All right, let's save what we can. Actually, just quickly before I do this, I should take a screenshot of what I have. I'm sure I've got a screenshot somewhere, but just for quick reference. Uh, heard about your project in Wessel and on the sponge chunks thought you'd come see very cool thank you for being here all right so I'm gonna leave the rock stuff as best I can and we'll leave some of this Inventory is full. We obviously have a cave down there. So I think any tuff that I put in, I'm probably going to put it in closer to the water because I find tuff tends to look a little bit on the wet side. I'm still okay with having things like gravel be something that looks like it might have fallen off the wall. Right, we're going to have to dump our inventory here. That... 
keep some moss. I don't need all this grass. The Dunderheads, hello. Uh, any text on tips on texturing walls? The bills look great, but all seem so random to me. Maybe that is the key. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I would say sometimes less is more. Uh, it really depends on what kind of walls you're texturing. Are you, do you mean these walls? Like this kind of thing? Or do you mean you've seen something else in the build that you like? Stone walls for sure. So uh, here the idea was just that I, I just kind of made this pattern so that the bottom looked like it had some weathering to it or the top looked like it had some like sun bleaching. Uh, and also things like Andesite slabs look like they have the sun hitting them rather than stone. So there's a little bit of a texture difference there. Uh, this is just kind of like sparsely spreading them out and having that look sort of random is a little bit more of a pattern here. I didn't really mean to do that, but uh, choosing a few blocks is usually good. Uh, another way to do it is I've got a, l a larger stone wall down this way. stuff like this where you start with like a darker pattern it helps when the wall is bigger um and you go from got basalt deep slate tough and cobble but i think the wall around the edge is mostly the same yeah uh, but really when it comes to textures and stuff like that i would say a good rule of thumb to start, and actually here I've got it backwards, so I've got to fix that, um, is a 70-30 rule. I've, I've talked about that on podcasts and stuff before, but essentially, when you're looking at this whole thing, it's 30% 30, 30 detail and 70% really flat blocks. Now, I've taken that 70% flat blocks and I've turned it into two different textures, but if you look at like the detailing across the top, the stone bricks, and then the polished andesite. That's even less than 30%. I'd say that's more like more like 10 or 20%, right? So if you put too much detail in, if you put too much texture changes, then everything starts to look muddy. But if you do specific choices, and I think too, like if you give, if you give yourself a rule, you know, like if I say, okay, well, andesite looks a little bit wet and stone looks a little bit dry, uh, stone looks a little bit sun bleached. Then if you keep that consistent with stone being on the top of your build, right? If you have a rule, then it, it communicates something to the player, right? Outside of that and like actually doing a texture and watching it happen, I think that's probably some decent advice. At least get you going. No problem. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what episode of the Spawn Chunks podcast, but Pix and I talked about it at least this year. So within within 2023, we definitely brought up the 70-30 the rule. That absolutely happened. So some of this is probably going to change. I just... Uh, I just know... that I, I work better when I have the form sorted. And some of this could be um, grass. That's fine. So right now I'm just changing every block to stone. And I'll worry about the shape of it later.
So all of this will end up being rock. We are out. Hello. What's that? Pink candles. I wonder who could have left this here. Hey, dead bushes. <laughs> Thanks. Just what I've always wanted. It's kind of funny when most of the time the gifts given to Cosmic on stream are uh flowers and then in return the flowers have been consumed and you get the stems back <laughs> uh i'll grab those and i don't need that or this why are you tied up marsh pick <laughs> surprise I needed a few streams. Yeah, I think that they look good in the marshes, so they'll come in handy. Thank you. So again, this is a lot of this is going to be textured differently and it'll maybe have a little bit more shape to it. But for now, it's going to make sense to just make it all stone and some of it I think we can get, make mossy here So I don't know what's going to happen here. We'll probably put some slabs here. So this is going to be very similar to the custom cliff we did over on the other river. Try to stay the right theme here, not make more work for myself than I need to. So all of this will have to be softened up, but I think you'll get the idea. And I think I'm just going to take this down. This was just like a sketch idea we had at the end of the last stream. Whoops. Move the barge pig out of the way. Oh no, it's it's all good. <laughs> I think that's funny. It's become a theme.
always miss that jump. You were searching for a camel, and that's where you find the, the dead bushes. Right on. Yeah, for anybody that's that's looking for um, specific things that we've talked about on the Spun Chunks, if you go to the spunchunks.com, there is a search panel at the top of the website. And I do pretty well uh, making sure that I remember to add tags to every blog post. And I try to make sure that it's on topic as far as the news as well as the discussions. So like if you're looking for the time that Joel and Picks talked about, you know, uh, I don't know, trial chambers. I mean, that's going to be easy because that's like, I think that's the latest episode. But if it was a year from now and you're like, I want to know about their opinion on trial chambers, then you can get it uh, by searching on the website. So again, I'm going off this idea that andesite looks a little bit better underwater than stone does and trying to make it look like this piece of rock kind of jettisons up into the area here. So over time, it's been worn down somehow. This feels very pointy. I think we might have to change the course of the river here. I think that this... Well, it might not be too bad. Maybe we'll shave a little bit off here. Uh, this feels very flat, doesn't it? Yeah, this is probably going to need to come out more. So I find this is usually the best way to do these kind of waterfalls is like just get a basic one in there, even if it's ugly. And then you can always mess around with it a little bit later, but it's always easier to do it when the water is actually flowing. Because then you can always see you know, the end result of what you're planning. And so here, I probably block that there, probably put in two of those and then waterlog them. And so in theory, yeah, that will run lower like that. 
uh, it just runs higher here. So we might want to drop that down. I'm probably going to have to change the shape of this anyway. See how that cuts it back from being out here? The waterlog slab pulls the water back. Outside of this weird right angle here, we're not doing too bad. I feel like what we could do is put something there. Maybe get rid of that. And I guess the problem there is that then it kind of flows in a straight line. So maybe maybe we need this to go over here instead. I'll worry about that later. Whoops. Do I have any steps on me? I don't. So one of the things you can do is to make it, you can make it even narrower by putting in stairs and creating like a real trickle. Uh, uh, Damu, yeah, you can, you can do a lot of stuff. The trick I find with manipulating water in Minecraft is if you've got something like here, right? The thing to do is cut it off and then give it a lower place to go. So if you don't want it to go over here, give it a place to drop and then see how it comes out really far. If you cut it off and then eventually cut it back. See here it won't work. But now it does. So you can also help yourself by like digging the trench first. I did that over here where actually I dug the, the rock face down at first. And we'll come back and do more texturing later. I think that's all of it. Map says yes. All right, let's back up and see what this looks like. Joel the Water Whisperer. <laughs> I 
don't think I need a hoe right now. Probably put that away. And we're supposed to get between 50 and 100 millimeters of rain today in the province. And there, I'm not sure if you, you probably can't hear it on the mic, but man, it is coming down in, uh, in some spurts. Every day is a school day. Seven years of Minecrafting, and there's still stuff to learn. Oh, one hundred percent. I can't. I can't wait to see all the different things that all the new redstone blocks are going to unlock, the crafter and all that. Uh, just because I really am. In, I've been in the mood to do some technical stuff for a while, uh, but it's just it's so nice to. Uh, to go, you know, and learn new things and new skill sets, I guess. And there's a lot of very talented redstone people that know a lot more than I do. And so it's fun to pick up new stuff, but then also take the time to, uh, I need more of those to then apply those new skills. You know, I think that's going to be fun and coming up with your own solutions to problems. That slabs I need stairs. All right, I've got mossy cobble. I don't know if I'm going to need the mossy cobble stairs, maybe. That's done. Probably going to need two stacks. Do you have any plans to upgrade some stuff built farms once the crafters in the game? Oh, 100%. Uh, things like our iron farm, gold farm, uh, changing the fuel sources for super smelters. Although that's going to be difficult because our, our current super smelters in the nether and kelp looks like it's going to be the best new source for set it and forget it. Um, fuel. So that's going to be challenging. All right. Do we like the way that this looks? I would say yes. Maybe I need a bit of a bird's eye view here. I find it strange sometimes with the map because I want to, I want to have the map face the other way. Like when I'm, I'm facing south, but the map faces north, right? Like north is, is up. And so I'm seeing this backwards. So one big reason I want to change the color is because I don't want it to look blend in with the wall too much. But I think that's going to make sense. It just feels like there's a big stone piece here. I feel like I'm going to want this stone to actually go all the way over to there. So I might have to change some of that. Uh, but we're going to put in the rest of this marsh pattern. Kind of have it go over to here. I think that should work. I'm going to leave this tower here, I think.
Yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I think we're going to curve this around a little bit more. Actually, this will probably stay the same. And over here. At least like that. I think maybe we'll just flatten that out and then push this. Yeah, it's getting there. So imagine this, this rock part of the world is like underneath this tower, right? And that I think is the biggest or one of the biggest towers on the front wall. And so it makes sense that this would be built probably more on something that would be um, sturdier. So along here, we can still keep a lot of the green, but if we replace it with some cobble, right, it'll feel a bit sturdier. Yeah, I think that'll work eventually. You see just having uh, cobblestone visible there instead of grass and moss. It just it makes it feel like it's got more of a base, which is how towers would have been built anyway. You would have to have a much larger, wider base at the bottom. But I think that's good. Now the edge of this, I think I'm going to leave it moss. So we should be clear to just keep this going. Blast from the past, but the scaffolding tower made me think of the screenshot platform from the realm of Vastin. Oh, totally. Yeah. That was a big build. I really was disappointed that I never could finish it. I just ended up being too busy. So down here, we want it to also be a little bit thinner in terms of what, like near the water part where it's rushing away. So I'll try to keep it sparse here.
but then dents over this way. And some of this could actually be rock. That could be kind of fun. Maybe have like a mossy cobble bit over here. I feel like this might be a little bit wide now. Yeah. So that's six. Oh, that's not great either. <laughs> Climb and review platform. Well, it's e the reason why I made the platform is because it's easier to land on. Well, I say that. Normally, I'm a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, that was better when it was smoother, wasn't it? All right. Maybe what needs to happen is this part needs to come up. Well, that's better. I try to do it so that it runs as, as low as possible. I find it looks more realistic that way. Although really, ah, you know, that's probably fine. That's probably fine. This feels a little bit straight. So what I try to do is I try to increase the numbers. So like two, two, there's three there, and there's four here. So it feels a little bit more natural as far as Minecraft blockiness goes. And then if you offset them, it generally looks better. If I wanted to put some, maybe a separator here, that could be kind of cool. This feels kind of thick or wide, I guess. And this is where you can do fun stuff with like a stair. So it still looks like it's flowing, but it really breaks things up and it makes it look more natural, especially when you look at it like this. So the idea for me in my brain is that this marshland, there's some low lying area here on top of some bedrock, but this is the bedrock that's cropping up. 
but because of erosion and time there's just been little places where the water has been able to erode the cliff face a little bit sheep scalibur hello how's it going you asked me a question i think on the spun chunks discord and i haven't had a chance to get back to you it was about the playtime in itunes i think whoops See here, I feel like we've got to make it a little bit more sparse as well. Uh, and the answer is that um, the Patreon posts have the time on them. Uh, when I look at my podcaster app, both the Patreon email, the Patreon website, and my podcaster app, all say the full length of of each podcast so i don't know why you can't see it but it's there it's in it's right in it's part of the patreon post oh that's too much like too much like the neighbor I'll grab some screenshots. The idea was to grab some screenshots and give it to you, but I just haven't had a chance. Let's get a little bit higher after I place a couple more blocks and see how this is looking. I think that works. It looks like it spreads out a little bit. I could maybe even cut back here a tiny bit, maybe remove that one and that one. I think it was there and there. And we can make it look a little bit lighter as well by um, adding in some of these. And then we also need to put in a little bit of mud, switch up the texture a bit. I find a nice way to do it is if you find 
a place that's particularly dense. You know, like here, there's a lot of blocks touching one another, and so using mud to break that up a bit, I think helps. This is the easy part. I'm not going to be able to see the texture. Crap. I'm surprised it didn't bonk, bonk my head. A little water spot there we'll have to fix. This is going to change dramatically. I think it's going to end up looking a lot better. Um, it's not in the RSS that I tried to analyze via my program. If I check the Patreon posts, I'm sure it'll be there. I can show you what I mean exactly later. I guess it might be how you're reading the RSS feed because that's how I'm subscribed to the Patreon. My podcaster catch my podcatcher downcast is subscribed to both regular. Like I just, I do it for quality assurance and to make sure it's working and Downcast tells me the RSS feed length. Um, the it's all embedded in the iTunes file. It's all embedded in the MP3. So if you're not catching it, then it's it's how you're reading the RSS because it's in the feed. It's in the file. All right. So we need some more mud in this area, but everywhere else, well, there's some more mud back there, maybe. I don't have to be too precious about it. I think we're pretty good. Cool. Uh, Cosmic has let me know that it's time for my break, which is something I'm going to stick to today because uh, we're here for a long haul. I'm going to do a double header, going to play some Minecraft for the first few hours, and then we're going to switch and play some Satisfactory. Hopefully you're going to stick around for the whole thing. It's going to be a good afternoon, uh, but I do take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to make some coffee or grab a drink. You should too, and we'll be back in five or six minutes.
All right, let's see what the next step is going to be. I think we need to fill in a little bit more, more mud. A few more spaces. I can just kind of carefully walk along here and here it feels pretty good. Like I feel like the mud ratio is good. Here's where we're maybe missing a little bit. Not bad. And then here, where I saw from the tower that we need some extra, extra mud. That's actually a lot of little singles in a row. I wonder if I can break that up somehow. Maybe that and I guess maybe we'll try to do something here. Hmm. Oh, now we gotta fill in the water. Yeah, there's some weird dense spots here. Barbary Moose, thanks very much. Appreciate that. <laughs> what a nice thing to say. Joel, your work is so natural and slimy. <laughs> I mean, when that's the goal. <laughs> definitely a compliment it is it sounds funny when you read it <laughs> the sound effects are pretty good too like i'm not sure if you guys can hear the footsteps very well but they're definitely muddy I think that's a decent pass. I have to go back up on higher ground and get a good look. I think that's pretty good. Could maybe use one or two down there. I think I've filled in that spot that I saw earlier. Again, it doesn't need, need to be perfect. I just want there to be some even distribution. This feels very dense. 
I need more water, I think, in there. So maybe a little bit here. And some in the middle back there. Okay, so there, here, and in front of that bush. Should be good. And we'll walk along just in case we see anything else that needs a little help. Right, I think that's it there, and then the spot. Use a little bit. And then up here. Now there was that one spot, it almost looked like an S. Really dense. Where did that go? I think this is it here. I think that broke it up a little bit anyway. This still feels very strange. Probably about as good as we're going to get. That's better. Okay. All right. One last check. Oh, I missed. That looks pretty good. Now I guess I just have to think about where I've got the roots in certain places. Done a pretty good job with them actually. They're not too bad. 
Not a lot of places where I think they're needed. Maybe right there. That area. Yeah, I think that's it. So right here. Oh, almost dead. Maybe here. I don't want these to be too, too common because you can't put grass on them. I'm trying to use them sparingly where I can. I thought there was another spot over here where there weren't wasn't very many. No, seems to be okay. You will squeeze in one here. So the only other texture that I want to throw in here are uh, stripped dark oak logs, but those are really hard to do because uh, you can't put anything on them. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put them closer to where the player would see them. So like maybe just on the, on the front third, so like every once in a while, if we think about where we might not want to put something, you know, like having something like this here. I do, however, would prefer to do this in the sunshine, so at least it's raining at the end of the day. Blue Cheese Cat, welcome back. Oh, it's a thunder shower. Cool. I used to live in Tennessee, Barbary Moose, and there was a pond full of frogs outside your room. That's awesome. Yeah, f there's there's a a pond down the bottom of the hill from where I live. Like it's not close. It's a it's a good block away, and uh, uh, peepers, as they're known around here in Nova Scotia, in the springtime, man, like they're not loud enough to keep me awake because I'm far enough away. But before I fall asleep, like I can hear them over the traffic outside my window. But that's probably just because they're so high pitched, right? I'm really going sparse with this. It's just like every once in a while, I want to throw, throw one. And we can always do this afterwards too. Helps break up big chunks of things together as well. I really wish we had moss slabs. I would love for this to be something that was a lower slope. I mean, we could still maybe do it with dirt slabs. I don't know what that would look like. Maybe not the whole way along, but in some places. One of the few blocks I have that's a custom texture. I'm just thinking like from the road, it would be nice 
we had like maybe one, two, three, one, two, three. Something like that. Ah, oh, that looks kind of funny, doesn't it? was worth a shot yeah just like outside yeah it was definitely raining just like here where'd I leave off there So all I'm doing is just trying not to line them up, trying to make sure that they're spread out a bit. When you see one, it makes sense. Because it's just meant to look like another color of mud, really. And that's probably about it. I don't think we really need to go too crazy with it because I want the back of this to feel dense. And the more of these that we put in, the less dense it's going to look as far as the foliage goes. Maybe I'll put one or two over here. I don't know what's going to happen here. I almost want to push the shape of this a little bit more. It feels still feels like a pretty straight edge. But I feel like if I push this in over here, it's going to feel like this is not got something solid to stand on. This just feels inorganic, I think, compared to the other side. I could maybe push this back by a block or two. So it would start here. that work maybe not that long I think that's okay
problem with these kind of projects is that just when you think you're done, you end up making a change or something. And it, it's something that is going to add just a little bit more work just when you want to check things off. Now I think that should work. I'll probably have to do some adjusting, but good enough for now. trick. Good. That was pretty painless. At least it's no longer a straight line. I was just thinking that it could be fun to have maybe a little path or something because there'd be people that would be living, guards would be living in this space, right? We've got beds and things upstairs. So um, I really need to fix this data pack. I know I keep on saying it. So a path somewhere is here could be cool. Something like that. We'll go through all the details surrounding this later. What, what I like about this kind of project is that when you've got something like this, that's the main focal point of an area, then you also have this road, which is also another key part of the infrastructure. It makes it a lot easier to come up with ideas on what to put in the space in between if that's done and this is done, right? So when we texture this road and we finish that marsh, then you're like, oh yeah, this would make sense. We could, this is actually now something to look at. Before this was just an empty plane. And now that there's something to look at here, you know, you wanna try and invite the player to be just like, oh, there's a path. Wonder why there's a path here. Why is there a path here? Because this is a real cool view. <laughs> like that's it, that's the only reason it's here. You know, but I mean, probably, you know, these people are entering their chamber pots and just like, I don't know where to put it. We're just going to dump it in the marsh. <laughs> uh, do you prefer building houses or environments? Uh, I like both. I think I prefer housing. They're more interesting. I Yeah, I'll say housing because when you're doing natural Minecraft stuff, especially if you're in a plains biome, it's just a lot of green and gray. Rocks grass and bushes like that's it that's all you got there are different kinds of green and that's fine but it's just a lot of green and gray whereas if you got houses and things granted i do have a lot of brown and gray in this medieval place but i i prefer you know um you can get some variety of colors you know you can make reasons to have you know different bell towers and all that kind of stuff avg jonas hello welcome in 
right, I think, I think that's where I'm going to leave the dark oak. And so the next phase of all of this, we're going to double check to make sure we're happy with the water. Actually, I'll keep those. Keep some of those. Don't need that. The next phase is going to be to do a lot of bone meal. I'll do one last check. Uh, have you considered some vines on the side of the castle walls? Uh, not as of yet. If I did, I might do like bush vines, like not Minecraft vines, but bush vines. Um, it's possible now that we've got the marsh here. So worth noting that like this whole area was just a temporary fix. Uh, I knew I was going to do this marsh, so I didn't do any of this stuff along here. Uh, but we've got vines like that in other places uh there's also a really cool vine where we used cherry cherry leaves back here i think that vine worked out really well oh uh flowering azalea into cherry blossoms so we've done that before in other places it's just that i haven't gotten to that stage yet i don't think we've got anything over here oh yeah there we go some spots actually while I'm here this is what I want to do for that cliff that we were working on earlier so it's a lot of andesite and a lot of cobble and mossy stuff uh tough some gravel in there too right on So for anybody that's new, I feel like there might be a few new people in here today. Uh, here was our proof of concept. I'll turn on shaders for fun. Uh, this is the first marsh that we built. Built, that we made, that we crafted. So this is our, this is the goal for what we're doing next. It's just that it's a lot bigger. And you can see how that actually shows up. I've actually got this. There's a lot more happening here. Maybe I should put more of those in. Hmm. Mm. Sad face. I miss shaders. I missed. Yep. No problem, Regan. Most of it's vanilla tweaks. Cosmic has got the links in chat. Yes, yeah, so I might want to add a couple more of those stripped dark oak. Seeing as this was going to be a look-off point, maybe we should put a few more of them here, too.
probably pretty good. So rather than like doing this texture everywhere, I'm just going to do it where you can see it, where it makes sense. I might end up changing them. Some of them might, some places I might want more, more foliage. I put any over here? I don't know if I did. I thought, oh yeah, there's one there. And we can always put bushes on top of them, right? We need to fill things in. That's not going to go there. So I, I don't want to line them up. I don't want to have them in line like that. That's usually something that kind of makes my eye twitch a little bit. That's right. We can just move it over here. Let's call that done. Yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good. I'm not seeing any real issues with water density and stuff. Some places are a little bit heavy but I think it'll all disappear once we get everything together so the next thing I want to do now that that's kind of where I want all of this to feel uh, feel good is I want to fill all of this stuff with plants uh, seagrass I guess now, thankfully, it spills over into the adjacent blocks, so like you don't have to hit every last little hole. Most of them, but not everything. Although it is a lot easier in the daytime. Out of curiosity, for a Saturday, how many people in the chat are new and have not been to one of my streams before? Look at those pro skills landing on the platform. I, I say that, and then, of course, the next time I brag about flying with Elytra, I end up pancaking and scattering bits everywhere. And you can see the difference that this makes. It's subtle, but we'll go up and take a look in a second. You can see it on the map, which is nice. And I, as much as I hate to admit it, there are some things that I do because it ends up looking better on the map. It helps in the actual build, of course, but there's just, there are some things where it's it looks cool on the map, so it's nice to do it. So you can see a big difference with 
the bone mealed areas. And I think that these blue ones that don't have the turquoise, I think that that's uh, those spaces. Yeah. So these don't read as brown on the map. They read as blue. Bushes are the same way. Uh, Waterlog bushes, stairs, they all, they look a little bit funny. For example, like I feel like I've got waterlogged stairs. Yeah, you can see there's waterlogged slabs all along here. It's actually a dock, but on the map, it doesn't show up as the dock. And I don't think there's a way to change that. I, if there was, I'd like to know. Because I'd like to do a really cool screenshot of the of the the build from above, and I'm I'm missing obviously sections of it because they don't display the way that I feel like they should on the map. This is going to make you dizzy in a heartbeat. That's for sure. Does anything happen when you bone meal? No. You have to plant all that manually, I guess. You can see the sparkles happen, the little green sparkles, but sometimes they don't grow just because of the randomness of it. And there's no real technique. It's just looking for empty spaces. Whoops. So this is one of those projects that's just it's taking a very long time. I'm going to be very happy with it, I'm sure. It's been a yard long time since we've had a yard sale. That is very true. That is very true. Man, I'm glad you don't have to do every last little hole. This would take forever. This is an another thing that you could probably just do the edges. You know, if you wanted to do this with a bit of economy, um, if there wasn't something on both sides of it like there's the wall here where you can look down from so if that wasn't there you could just do this on the half that's closest to where you're looking at the marsh and then not worry about the back end right unless you're a perfectionist and a completionist like me and then you're stuck welcome to the grind There are things like this in art too that I remember 
being tedious but paying off in the end things like patterns or the way that you might shade something and it's a lot of work but it ends up being worth it in the end It's less fun when you fall in, that's for sure. It's like your brain is trying to complete it faster than the game is letting you. Plus elytra in single blocks of water is just really annoying. But Joel, you could take your elytra off. I could. I don't want to. You know, I wonder sometimes, you know, if someone is coming into the stream and I feel like most people that coming that are coming in are probably familiar with Minecraft. But if you're not, man, we talk a lot of inside baseball, like just, you know, mentioning things like Elytra without any explanation as to what they are, why, why it's important. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Crap, that turned a bunch of this stuff into moss. You have to be careful with that. That's the reason I wanted to wait until I was happy with all the water because once you, um, once you do the bone mealing and the, um, the grass is there you can't use a water bucket to pick up the water it's really annoying so just to be very careful along maybe i'll just go along the edges here and just nail it all to make sure we don't have any issues. Now here, I probably want to thin it out a little bit. I don't want to start screwing around and doing a different angle, so we'll just pick up where I left off. Pretty much right there. I might come back here rather than using bone meal and just kind of place the seagrass where we want it. Pointillism, super grindy, 100%. 100%. I saw a, a TikTok the other day of a muralist that was drawing this big, beautiful octopus mural, I think in maybe like a sushi bar or something. She was obviously commissioned to do it. And she had a fist full of paint markers, essentially. And so rather than just like one, she had like a fist full of like five. And I think she had like them bound together with elastics, but she was also doing it in a way where she could change the density of how many were in her hand. 
so she could do some shading and stippling on the wall. And uh, it was a big mural. It was probably 10 feet by six feet or something like that. Uh, and it took her four days. It was really well done. It was, it was cool. It had like a, it looked like graffiti, but it looked like an illustration as well. And the octopus tentacles were all wrapped around the window where I'm assuming like the chef or sushi chef or whoever would be handing the servers the food to then take to the table, like the service window. I can't remember what exactly it's called in a restaurant, but that was that was where the octopus was kind of wrapping around. It was very cool. Four days is dedication, but if it's four days and that's your job, well then that's four that's what it that's what it takes. <laughs> you know, like if if that's that's the commission, then you know that's your that's your job for four days. It's different. It's different when you're paid. If if you're paid and you're paid well and you're um you're not trying to rush through it and time is not, you know, a problem then uh, it's better. It, it doesn't feel like as much of a grind. So in places like this, I'm going to maybe like poke out a couple this is fine this could actually maybe use even some extra stuff here looking very marshy So already it's starting to have some growth to it. Now, I guess the thing I have to decide is if I want to tackle this back part before we tackle all the foliage. I feel like maybe we should do the foliage first. Probably the better way to do it. Cosmic Dancer gifting a tier one sub to Hioni. Hello. Hi, Hioni. Thanks very much, Cosmic, for the amazing support, as always. Welcome, welcome, Hioni. Good to see you. Uh, Hioni says, my husband's Twitch algorithm has been messed up by me watching you so much on our TV. <laughs> so he set up his old school MacBook for me to use. <laughs> That's great. My reach is far. Right, I forget about sunken bushes too. So we need jungle bushes and azalea. Uh, I think we're just gonna go through with grass and it looks like ferns are kind of sparse. So it's mostly grass. So we'll get a little bit of a start on this. So I think what we'll do first is probably just hit everything with grass as best we can. And then maybe we'll pop through and do the ferns after. I don't remember how I did this. 
whether I did the ferns at the same time. I guess I could just kind of pop them in wherever. Does anybody remember if I did bushes first or if I did all this grass stuff first? We're going to go through a lot of grass. Oh, crap. I forgot that you could do that. That's a pain. Be careful. This is where being able to hover over all this stuff would be great. <laughs> Stream time's at two hours. Thanks, Cosmic. I think what we'll do is we'll exhaust our inventory of stuff and then switch around. So apparently the ferns register as like a green dot on the map. Yeah, they totally do. Got more grass somewhere. Yeah, it really needs the bushes, doesn't it? Maybe it'll be better if we did the bushes first. I don't remember how I did it. Do I not have the bushes out here? Nope, I need jungle bushes. I know I've said this before, but in future builds, two wide stairwells, definitely a way to go. Anything else that I need in here? I don't think so. We're good. Oh, there's also the dead bushes we have to mess around with, too. Thanks again for those, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Probably not that many.
10 out of 10 would compliment flying skills again. Thanks. Yeah, I feel like I need to put the bushes in first. And where along here should we put one? Consider the focal points. Well, that doesn't make any sense. We're blocking the view there. So we'll do that. This is where it starts to get a little finicky. I guess I had some carpet in here too at some point so we can come in here maybe and do that i like how that looks like roots for the bush We can't waterlog um, azalea saplings, which is too bad. And I don't think the saplings look very good. I, I don't think they look good in the swamp or in the marsh. If I was to put a sapling here, I don't know. I feel like it might be a little bit too dense. It has the right kind of droopy pattern to it. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. All right, is that roughly a good spot, I think? Maybe we'll just fill in a little bit more grass along here. I think I went through the other one and I cleared out some grass too. See here we've got a lot of really strange, uh, like that row of of stuff is not something I would normally leave. Like that's a mistake. I'd rather have maybe another fern or something. And then we'll do the same thing. Maybe even here we can get rid of it and do like a jungle bush. helps make that feel denser 
And because of this bush here, like I almost want to remove this and then replace it so that we can have more grass there. So some of this stuff is going to be shifting around. It's not bad though. This feels very, very dense through there. But anyway, you can see the process. Uh, but in keeping in line with what I wanted to do today and knowing how uh, long my satisfactory streams usually are, I think this is a good opportunity to uh, take a slightly extended break and then switch games. Put that there. Probably put some stuff away. Nice opportunity to clear the old inventory too. Always fun. Back to normal. So if you're just tuning in, this is one of two uh, marshes that we've built. And you can start to see how this is going to look when it's all finished. And it'll kind of like go all the way along here. And then this will be more interesting than the other one because we've got all this custom cliff work to do. Uh, that's going to be fun. It's It's a little bit of a strange thing to pour some time into because you really can't see it from the main entrance uh, i guess you'll see it from the top of the wall you'll only be able to see it from the the west approach so i guess it's worth doing considering we have like custom cliffs over here uh, and actually with those pallets it's actually it, changing the texture down here it's going to feel like the same sort of rock maybe it's all one big piece which would make sense next to a big mountain so yeah it's coming along i i'm pretty happy with it this is the view from above and if we got down on ground level now that we've got a little bit of this in here i'm curious how this is going to look when you're walking up to everything you can't really see it until you're a lot closer seeing the tops of the grass is cool though and that'll be spread out over that whole area I might be removing some grass. I might not put as much grass in there. I'd like it to read a little bit more muddy. Right now it's feeling very, very lush. And I feel like what we might have to do is come in here and maybe just randomly thin out a few things. Just to kind of get a little bit more of that brown. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do, but cool. So we're going to move on to satisfactory, so don't go anywhere. I will take a slightly extended break. Uh, the stream uh, VOD will end, so that will give me uh, a second video to then separately post on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, which is getting very, very close to a 1,000 subscribers. So thank you ever so much for the folks that are going over there and subscribing to that. Uh, you can, of course, listen to my Minecraft podcast that I do with Pixel Riffs every Monday. That's at thespawnchunks.com. Uh, and you can support this stream on Patreon if you'd like to go check that out. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's the same for my satisfactory streams. All of my streaming work is supported through either Patreon or right here on Twitch. I really appreciate all the support. Thanks for the subs today. Uh, thanks for the gift subs. Great to see some familiar faces as well. Uh, I hope that uh, you're enjoying the streams. And uh, if you're new to Satisfactory, stick around. It's a fun game and it's uh, we've got a lot going on. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. We're going to switch over to Satisfactory and I will see you in just a few minutes. But if you're watching this on YouTube later, uh, make sure you follow on Twitter and Instagram at Joel Duggan. That's where I post when I go live. Or if you're a member of the Discord because you're a Twitch sub, a Prime sub, or you have joined the Patreon, then you'll get a heads up ahead of time as well as when I go live. On, on the discord so that's gonna be it for me folks i will see you tomorrow if you're not tuning in for the next stream uh one o'clock atlantic on sunday is the next minecraft stream but uh satisfactory coming up back in a few